I will take these five foods and explain how you can double the portion for the same amount of calories. I'm going to show you how you can make and eat large quantities of food without consuming large quantities of calories. It sounds too good to be true, right? Let's not waste any more time and let me show you. So I just bought a medium fries at Burger King, which I googled is 387 calories. Three dogs, thank you. 387 calories is actually equal to four whole potatoes. However, we're definitely not eating four potatoes in a medium serving of fries at Burger King. I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. Which means that oil is replacing the calories of two whole potatoes. Something so small for just 120 calories, not worth it. So having an air fryer is a super huge help because you can fry anything without using olive oil and that's gonna take away so many extra calories. But if you wanna add some spice to it, I use garlic powder, dill wheat, cumin, and chili pepper flakes. And a little bit of lemon. These are my favorite spices to use. But honestly, just on its own, they taste just as good or better. And another plus is after you eat them, you're not weighed down by the amount of fat. Mm. Another appliance that is too good to be true is the Yo Nana's machine. It can pretty much turn any fruit into ice cream, minus the processed sugar, salt, dairy, and all of the other unnecessary ingredients that just add up in calories. All you have to do is freeze your fruit first. If you have bananas, make sure you peel them. It's as simple as that. You just put them in the machine and it's ice cream. This entire bowl is just 300 healthy calories. Incredible. I don't know how a couple bananas can taste so creamy. Mm. The best thing about it is that you don't feel guilty afterwards and I can literally hop on my bike and ride after I eat this whole thing. <laughs> Next, I'll show you how to make a pancake double the size of any processed pancake by just mixing three simple and healthy ingredients. Oats, bananas, and almond milk. You just have to mix it in a blender and cook it on low and there's no need for oil or butter. Okay, so this is our pancake comparison. This is the more processed pancake. It has sugar, salt, and a bunch of ingredients that I can't pronounce. This is how much you get for one pancake worth. And we tried to match that with our oat pancake. And it's actually a little bit less calories, way more satisfying, way more filling. So this is maybe a better side-by-side -side comparison. And then you can see this one is also a lot thinner, way more weight, like you're definitely not gonna be satisfied on that. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of maple syrup. And another thing is make sure that you're buying pure maple syrup because there's so many maple syrups out there. And if you just turn it around and check the ingredients, you're gonna see that the first ingredient is actually not maple syrup, but high fructose corn syrup. Taste test, I don't know anyone who eats their pancakes with a spoon, but mm, super good. I love the consistency. Honestly, I don't even want to try this one. I'll let you guys just be the judge. Which one would you choose? This created a new recipe. Banana ice cream on top of oat pancakes. You just pour the full ice cream here on the pancake. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. More ice cream. Everything. <laughs> that was incredible. This mm. looks like such junk food, like pancakes and ice cream. But really, it's oats and bananas and almond milk all really healthy ingredients and ingredients that are not gonna make you feel like crap after. You can probably eat 10 of these and it won't matter. A big pancake and an entire bowl of ice cream. You're gonna be satisfied after eating that. Yeah, we could have almost had an entire pancake for this. So funny story, I actually ended up eating the popcorn and there was none left to make the comparison. But you get the point. Not a lot of people know that you can actually make your own popcorn at home. All you need is corn kennels and a pot. Make sure that you put your pot on low, cover it, you don't need any butters, any oils, and you can make a lot of popcorn for a little amount of calories. No microwave needed. When you can count one to two seconds between pops, then it's time to take it off. So the last comparison will be roasted nuts versus raw nuts. If nuts are not raw, they are roasted in oil almost 100% of the time. So this is what they look like side by side, gram for gram, and they look more or less the same. However, there is a twist that you're not even gonna believe. So there's a study that has been done and I've experienced it firsthand myself. We can basically eat 400 free calories of raw unsalted nuts. Huh? So to match this, I would actually have to double the amount that's in here. So it would actually look like this. 
So just by choosing to eat raw unsalted nuts versus roasted in oil and salted nuts, you can double the amount that you can eat. This is what 400 calories looks like versus 400 calories. If you wanna do your own research and really understand the science of how this works, you can check out this video here. And next, I will show you how to make these five popular foods for way less calories.